Hey everybody, my name is Heather Susan Vivian Kingsley and I just want to say thank you so much for returning to my YouTube station and checking this out. Uh, I hope that this is very helpful to anybody out there who's going through the same things that I'm going through and um, I just want to continue to document everything that is going on in my life. Uh, it's really great stuff, it's just a little overwhelming and I'm not quite sure how to just process all of this. So. Um, I thought that the best way for me to do it is to YouTube this and to continue to think outside the box and how I want to see my family and um, create these relationships that are really important to me. So where I want to start is that January 30th was a very, very different day for me. And I really consider now that I have two birthdays. I was born June 7th, 1976, and as of January 30th, 2018, I am now have a second birthday to a whole new life. And what I mean by that is just that, I mean, I have a whole new family. I've been looking for these people for a long time. And part of the problem was just that the resources weren't there. They didn't have, um, they just didn't have the same things that they have out now. And I think the biggest break that I even had was with 23andMe because it just opened a whole new door that I just never even knew I had. It was just amazing. So here's what happened. I'm sitting in the bathtub one day and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited about my Christmas present. I had just gotten this awesome 23andMe Christmas present from my mom and dad. And I just thought to myself, wow, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to be able to find out about my genetic makeup and find out, you know, what, what makes Heather Heather. And so, you know, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to be so neat. The next thing I know is as I'm sitting in the bathtub and I'm thinking about this, I was thinking about an email that had come through earlier. And basically the email was from another family member on my mother's side of the family that wanted to touch base with her and wanted to find out how to connect with her, um, wanted to know more about the family history, stories, things like that. And he never met her before. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's so cool. How did... Um, how did he even know to message her? And it was like a light bulb went off in my head. And I'm going, oh my God, could could that be like how I, could I possibly have a connection to my other family that way? Will I be able to, no, 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 no. So I thought to myself, you know what? It is what it is. I'm just gonna, just gonna be happy. I'm gonna be very, very happy with what I have because I have a father who I love very much and a mom that I love more than anything in the whole world, and I have what I want. So, you know what, I should just be happy and content with what I have. So meanwhile, I thought, you know, if it happens, it happens, that would be great. I would love a chance to know that side of the family, um, just because that is the other half of my blood that runs through my body. So it is something that has always been a curiosity to me, but at the same time, I could have died tomorrow and been happy just where I was at. So I, um, I'm sitting in the bathtub and I'm like, oh, it's maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. So meanwhile, the 24th hits and I say the 24th specifically because today is a very interesting thing I found out about my father's obituary. I'm reading more and more about some of the stories about my family and I'm finding out more about you know, the history, found out my father had passed away a few years back and had actually, um, when he passed away, it was January 24th. Well, I have no idea if there's anything that could possibly be, it, this is like the story of my life, but this is probably one of the weirdest things. January 24th was the day that I received all the information. And it was January 30th. It took me a, like almost a week to actually understand the site on 23andMe, how to even get to understanding what the genetic makeup was. I mean, I was so excited about it um, to understand how to connect with other parts of the family and what the percentages mean and all of that. So it's a little confusing to me at first, but I started reaching out and then uh, within a few hours, I actually received a message back and it was from Brie. I won't say last names because I'm not going to do that here on YouTube, but I'm going to say first names because um, 
I need to make a special shout out to these people and make sure that they know just how special and important they are to me. So Brie calls me up, or actually, excuse me, she didn't call me up. Brie messages me on 23andMe and says that she has some things that she would like to talk to me about, uh, ask uh, um, just a few different questions. And then I get this phone number and she says that I can call her. I can call her tonight, I can call her the next day, whatever, but that I should call her. So I was like really excited. I'm like, oh, ah, it's like the first like first family member I like have even encountered on the Wheeler side. So I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome. Who is this person? <laughs> Who is this? So the next thing I know is it's my niece. I had a sister. I have a sister named Robin. And I was like, oh, my God a sister like I'm thinking to myself this is the most amazing experience and so I'm talking to my niece and she we're we're, we're just having this beautiful conversation and I'm thinking man this chick sounds smart she sounds just beautiful um just really a deep down to earth person and I'm thinking I'm just so proud to be able to sp to speak with somebody on the other end of this phone who I'm related to, who, who frankly isn't a dumbass, because like I don't want to be related to some dumbass. So, um, Brie was definitely no dumbass. She was just amazing. So, uh, she says, you know, would it be okay if um, she gave her mom my number and vice versa? And so we did. And the very next day, I got to talk to my sister. Thank you, Brie. A million times over for everything because if it wasn't for you that day that moment I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it ever but I will for the rest of our lives because I will make sure that you know just how important you are to me love you